Well, tonight an Omaha man is behind bars after a nearly 26 hour standoff with police. A Mark LaRue was booked on three counts of attempted first degree homicide, four weapons counts and harassment of a police animal. Police searched his home after the standoff and found out he had three fully automatic handguns, two rifles and a shotgun and two revolvers. And today we also took a look into the background of Mark LaRue. Our Aaron Murray spoke to neighbors who filed police reports and even protection orders. From their guest bedroom window, Jody and Dan Reif had a bird's eye view of the 26 hour standoff from Friday into Saturday. We watched it, we listened to it. It was, we just sat here and watched the war. And for some, it did feel like a war. Big guns, SWAT teams, tear gas, and pressure grenades, all used in an attempt to get Mark LaRue out after he barricaded himself in his home in the Keystone neighborhood. It had to be Mark and uh, there's no nobody else in the neighborhood that it would have been. The Rifes have lived across the street from LaRue and his family for 10 years and from the beginning. Yes, we've been waiting for it. They say there were signs. He was very friendly and very helpful and we befriended him. We thought that was the neighborly thing to do. And we did always see that there was something a little bit different. From an incident with abuse towards their dog to overstaying his welcome, they say things finally boiled over with LaRue in the summer of 2015 when this police report was filed. I saw him standing right about here, bending over, snipping off the flowers. A small offense of trespassing and property damage, but he wouldn't stop or leave, so they called police. They um, came back over after they talked with him and said, we can see he's not right in the head. There's something not right there. Don't you talk with him. You let us deal with him. If he comes back over, he said he won't come back over, but if he does, call us. But the next day, LaRue was back again, which is when this protection order was filed against him. After all the incidents from the summer of 2015, Jody said she became afraid to come outside, work on her flowers, or even just walk through her neighborhood. That's why she bought this. It's a can of bear spray. She said she bought it for protection, just in case she ever had a confrontation with LaRue. But nothing happened until the standoff. And while no people were hurt, police say LaRue shot and killed an Omaha police canine officer named Cobus. Sunday, flowers are laid outside of the home and neighbors came together to pray. Lord, we just first of all pray for the Laurel family. The community and the Rifes shaken, but still standing together strong. We were hoping this wouldn't happen. We figured it would. We tried doing our part by pressing charges last July. That's why we did it and this still happens. They commend police, but can't help to think about one underlying thought. I really have compassion for people with mental illnesses. I do and I get it, but I think you need to draw a line when there's safety. Now, the Rifes say this experience has taught them that letting police know about the smallest details when they see something suspicious is important, which is why they are urging the community you know, to call police if they see somebody's behavior may be harmful in any way. Aaron, I know you spent time in the neighborhood. Did other neighbors have similar concerns? Actually, they did, John. We walked up and down the street, spoke to, to many people, and all of them kind of telling us little odd experiences that they all had, which is actually another point the Rifes say. You know, they didn't know that either until they kind of had an open communication about uh, 10 months ago with their community and, and learned these things that they all were experiencing. All right, thank you. That's Aaron Murray reporting live tonight.